I'm Ted McFall from McFall Bee Yard. Today I'm going to show you how to make an Asian giant hornet trap. Uh, those are the ones that have been known to be called the murder hornet, as they call them in Japan. They also call them the yak killer. They call them the great sparrow. Anyway, we do not want them here in the United States, and so we need to find ways of trapping and killing them. So I'm going to try four different ways of trapping this Asian giant hornet. No one's exactly sure what they're going to be most attracted to here on U.S. soil because there's different smells, there's different flora, there's different reasons that, that they may or may not be attracted to the same thing that they're attracted to in Asia. So, the four different baits that I will try, um, it's going to be grape juice with this uh, ingredient called um, Calpico. This is actually an, uh, a drink in Asia. They drink this stuff, it's, it's like a, a soda that doesn't have any, um, doesn't have any uh, fizz to it. it. It's just a flat type of a soda. It's actually kind of lemony. It tastes different than it looks. It's not too bad actually. But anyway, so we're going to use that with grape juice and rice wine. Um, this uh, rice wine uh, is like an Asian thing that they use over there in Asia to catch the Asian giant hornet. Um, it's actually uh, pretty nasty stuff. I tasted it and uh, it's pretty gross. It doesn't taste like regular wine. They only use it for cooking. It's pretty strong and nasty. And the reason that you have to have that is because it um, keeps the honeybees away. Because you don't want honeybees and things getting in, into the trap because they're attracted to the sweetness. So that'll be one. The second one is just going to be old school cat food. This particular one that we're going to use is Friskies. Um, the type is going to be uh, Mariner's Catch. So we're going to put a whole one of those in. And we will also try uh, orange juice with rice wine. That is the one that the uh, Department of Agriculture is currently encouraging people to try. Um, so it's got the sweet to draw them in and also the, uh, the, nasty, uh, the nasty sour of this uh, wine to keep bees away. And the last one that we're going to try is actually just a commercial type of a uh, attractant that uh, attracts hornets and wasp and different types of uh, vespids. So we have to make our bottle trap. This was a juice bottle. I think this one actually came from Costco, but uh, any bottle trap will do. You're gonna need to cut three holes. So there's one on three of the sides. And it's important to get the right size hole because it's too small, the Asian giant hornet's not gonna go in. It's too big, uh, then he's gonna find his way back out. So you need to measure it and you can basically just put an H on each of the three sides. And the H needs to be approximately two centimeters. If you, if you don't have a ruler in centimeters, it's 0 0.78 of an inch. And so each one of those lines is gonna be 0 0.78 of an inch, a little bit more than three quarters of an inch. And you make an H there, you take the top part of the flap, you fold it up, you take the bottom one and you fold it out, and there and there is your, um, your, your hole. So you take the top one, you push it in, the bottom one, you pull it out, and you do that on three sides. And they'll smell that, go in there, and then they're, they're not going to be able to find their way out. So, the, um, as far as the, the different bait ingredients that we're going to try, for the grape juice, calpies, and rice wine, we're going to put a half a cup, a half a cup, and a half a cup. And so, um, the uh, Department of Agriculture, um, recommended this one to me. I mean, they're pretty much telling everyone to try the orange juice and the rice wine because that has been proven to work well in Asia. But I reached out to them and I said, hey, if I want to try an alternative uh, type of a bait, what do you recommend? And they responded, you know, if I were you, I might go for the uh, the grape juice, calpies, and rice wine. That calpies wasn't, uh, or calpico, wasn't so easy to, uh, to find. But uh, if you find a, a good Asian mart somewhere, they should have it. So, uh, it's half a cup, half a cup, and half a cup. For the orange juice, you use half a cup and the uh, cooking wine. So if you can find the orange juice in these little containers, these are half a cup already. So you just put one of those in and put one of those in. Or, or uh, half a cup. Half a cup of rice wine, half a cup of orange juice. For the uh, cat food one, that one, you just dump the cat food in. Piece of cake. And... Um, I wasn't sure which uh, which kind of flavor to go with. There was a study in India on the Asian giant hornets, and they thought the Asian giant hornets were attracted to fish smells. So that's the reason that I got the uh, Mariner's Catch type of cat food. So hopefully it'll be attractive to Asian giant hornets. And the last one is this commercial one. So this is supposed to attract wasps, hornets, yellow jackets. Um, 
When I pour it in, it's just gonna be a liquid. And so I'm just gonna pour the liquid at the bottom. And I was afraid that the liquid was gonna evaporate. So I'm taking these, these cellulose uh, dishcloths. So if you look up Swedish cellulose dishcloth, you're gonna find these. They're on, they're on eBay, they're on Amazon. They come in like a 10 pack. And what I did was I cut them into two by two inch squares. So I, for each bottle trap, I'm gonna stick a couple of these in the bottle trap. Then I'm gonna pour in the uh, attractant and this will soak up most of the attractant. And so the smell will stay in here for a week. And what I'm gonna do is every week, I'm gonna go through, change all the baits and collect everything that I found. And so that's when a strainer is helpful because you're probably gonna have a lot of little critters and nasty things in there. And so you just open the lid, pour it through the filter and you can see what you caught. Uh, if you're a part of the trapping program in Washington State at the current time, they're asking that everyone turn in the things that they caught. So if you have any regular bald face hornets or yellow jackets or or um, uh, any, any type of any type of a uh, vespid creature, they want you to turn it in. So um, we're trying to uh, trying to cooperate with the uh, the government in that way because they've been uh, very helpful for us to try to deal with this Asian giant hornet. But um, yeah, I wanted to try this experiment to find out if there might be something that's better than the orange juice. So we'll see if we get lucky and catch a Asian giant hornet on one of these traps. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill these traps and uh, and in a second here, we'll, uh, we'll get back to uh, after I fill them up and hang them. So I finished baiting the traps and uh, I went ahead and hung them. The ideal height is, uh, according to the Department of Agriculture, between six feet and nine feet high. So this is uh, pretty much like right in that middle area. Um, this one has the uh, the orange juice and rice wine has the three entrances so we'll see how that one goes the next one has the cat food so hopefully that's gonna be a nasty stinky one that should attract some animals uh, the next one is the one with the pheromone do you remember the uh, the little squares that I talked about well there's the two squares with the the pheromone juice in it and the last one is the grape juice the cow piece uh, soda stuff and the rice wine. So hopefully we're gonna have some success uh, trying to capture uh, Asian giant hornet or Asian giant hornets. And um, this uh, this should be an interesting experiment. So I'm gonna be checking them with, in the next couple of weeks. Actually for the next several weeks, I'll be checking them weekly. And so that's when we're gonna discover what kind of luck we have. So tune in to video two to see what we captured. Ted McFall from McFall Bee Yard.